What's up, everybody? So welcome back to another banger. We're going to jump right into this one. This is an extremely important topic if you are wanting to use AI to its fullest capability. Okay, there's a big difference between the people that will use AI like Claude, GPT, and throw random low effort prompts in. And then those that if you do what I'm about to show you in this video, will literally be able to, and I'm not exaggerating, take one hour of work and turn it into world-class VSL, world-class funnel copy, world-class landing page copy, world-class emails, like literally every copy asset you could ever have. And I'm just using copywriting as the example here just to make it tangible for you. So um, first, let's distinguish. There is a difference between a prompt, like an English human prompt, and what we call JSON, and then even further than that, what we call context profiles. And now what I want to show you really quickly So what is a context profile? Here's normal text, just to give you guys an example. So what is your product or service name? This is like a questionnaire that I would be filling out, right? So, oh, Kendo AI, like who's your target audience? Be specific. What's your number one problem? So if I was filling this out, I would literally write down like, oh, my product is this, my target is this, uh, my number one problem is this, what transformation, I do this. Okay, that's normal English language. Now that's fine. Like you can still use that. You can still put that into Claude. You can still get feedback from that. However, if you want to really, really, really spit out, I'm talking world-class pieces of copy or, or whatever you're using this for, this is how you need to structure it. So this is the same exact thing, okay? Like what is your product or service? Product, service, name, description, type, okay? This is what we call a context profile. So this is robot language called JSON, J-S-O-N, okay? Like literally JSON. So if you see JSON ever anywhere, just think like, it's like this. You know what this looks like is HTML, um, if you know what HTML is. And again, this is, you don't have to be technical to know these things. So when you arrange words in this manner, AI can really, really, really understand. And even cooler than this, the same way that you guys are probably used to, for example, um, if, if I was filling out like a form, right? I would have like this form and then I would have like another form and then another form. And then I could connect those, like if I'm using Zapier or N8N, like this form or, or the, the text in this form would connect to that form. Like you get what I'm saying, like dynamic fields. You can think of JSON as a dynamic field in the context in which I'm about to show you, which is really cool. You'll get what I'm saying. So. This is how we want to structure our prompts that we use for Claude. Now, why do we want to do this? Well, let me show you. In Claude, we can create projects, okay? So a project is literally, hey, here's this individual project, but what you can actually do that makes that cooler is you can add project knowledge and instructions. And this is exactly what it looks like. I just screenshot this. So this is my VSL project. I use this project solely for creating VSLs, video sales letters. Now the product knowledge or the project knowledge is a very long form. And I gave you guys an excerpt here. I don't want to give away all my secret sauce. This is like multiple pages. I think this goes to like 12 or something of this context profile structure on instructions on how I want Claude to write my VSL. So instead of me saying, Hey, write a VSL, I say, write a VSL following this structure but this is where the context profile comes into place. So think of your project instructions as tailoring Claude to a specific use case. So instead of write copy for me, we would say, hey, like here are the instructions for the VSL I want to write. And it's these big long instructions. That's not the context profile. It can still be arranged in JSON, but that's just the instructions for the project, okay? So you paste it in there, you save it, done. Now this is where we get really cool, and this is what will separate the pros from the amateurs in AI. Then we layer on a context profile, which is again, easier language for the AI to understand of our target ICP. So if I'm writing a VSL, then again, this is just the example. This logic applies to really anything with LLMs and AI. If I'm writing a VSL, who am I writing to? What's their number one problem? What do they do more than anything else? What's their income? Like what's their pain points? So I have, and this is for the AI insiders group. These are direct modules I just took from there. I have created this 42 question form, intake form, to get my exact ICP for any marketing material or copy for a client that I would be doing or for myself. So it's like 42 questions. Now within this, I then turn this into, guess what? A context profile. So I take this from the questionnaire and then I say, hey Claude, turn this exact questionnaire into a context profile. Then this context profile 
is what I am just simply calling for internal purposes, a master audience context profile, right? So this is basically a context profile of my exact ideal client profile that I can then do this with, which is freaking insane. I can then save the project. I can then go into uh, Claude. I can say, write a direct response video sales letter. And again, we always wanna be specific for online business owners, more specifically course info coaches, whatever using this context profile of my ICP's information. Follow the project instructions, which we did earlier, and write the VSL and make sure to reference this context profile to tailor it. I would then paste this context profile questionnaire in like context profile format, not in this uh, J, uh, the normal format, and the end result would be a 95% complete, amazing world-class VSL. And how long did that take me? Well, I fill out this questionnaire one time, 42 questions. Um, I use it for everything, emails, whatever, okay? So by doing that, rather than just prompting it, I'm gonna get a much better result. And then this is the even cooler part, okay? So now that I have this context profile that I can create, I can basically feed that uh, CP, we'll, we'll call it a CP. I can feed that CP to Claude. And all I have to change is the project instructions. So if I wanna write a VSL, I have the big project instructions for the way I want the VSL written. If I wanna write emails for a launch sequence, it's just email launch sequence instructions, same context profile, change the prompt to simply say, write a series of 10 emails for a launch sequence using this context profile. So now with a little bit of work, like what, 30 minutes of building this context profile, I can literally build any piece of copy that I want, anything. Like this is my VSL context profile. Now, I'm not gonna show you this whole thing because this is secret sauce only for the AI Insiders group, which is not open yet, by the way. But this is the idea. So VSL framework blueprint. Here is how I want you to structure the VSL, right? So all I do is I go into Claude, project knowledge, plus I paste that in, I save it. Then all I have to do, this is example here, is I prompt it. And I, I didn't paste the context profile here because I'd have to fill one out. But you can see it is understanding exactly what I wanted it to do. And then it's already asking for my ICP uh, context profile. So this ICP context profile will literally provide all the information that it needs. And then all Claude is doing is using its brilliant brain to plug in this profile with this VSL structure, which equals one plus one equals two. It's like, it's literally works that way. And this is the coolest thing ever. And if you guys do this, your output from AI will be 1000 times better. And now I can do this for anything, by the way, this doesn't have to be for copy. Um, like I can use this to write course documents. I can use this to like reels, like, uh, literally anything like your, your brain is the limit SOPs. Like if I want all of my SOPs built in one specific fashion, I build the context profile for it so that I do it one time. And then I just say, make an SOP for this, make an SOP for this. And then it's not this, um, if you just prompt it without the context, like it doesn't know what to do. It's kind of randomized results. Then it is a very uniform end result every time. And that's how you do these things. And you can upgrade this. Like I, I even wrote down here for you guys, you can upgrade this by, for example, adding a brand voice context profile, which to do that, I'm going to give you guys just a hack. All you do is literally, let's say I got the end result, um, of like a VSL that I liked. And again, a VSL maybe isn't your brand voice. You'd probably want to use like your social media. But if I simply prompt this and said, hey, now take what you just wrote and save the style and the sound and the tone as a brand voice context profile that I can then use for all my future copy. And then you just add that to the project knowledge and save it. So guys, this is really, 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 really valuable. Like genuinely, this is one of the most valuable videos you will ever see on AI. Um, this is the right way to think about it, okay? So it's it's literally like a pyramid. Instructions, context, specific context, and result, okay? Think like that when you build anything with AI, and copy is just a good example of that. So guys, thank you for the love on the new channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, and please let me know what you wanna see. I can make videos about anything. I'm very passionate about AI, and, and I love talking about this. So um, God bless. Thank you guys for watching the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.